Greetings, gatekeepers! I'm Salirefs, and today I'm going to talk about the new pre-alpha build that just got released, available to play for our supporters on Patreon. This update is a really big programming pass over the core systems of the game, but it doesn't add any fancy art this time. That will be in the future. There are placeholder assets, like this test character. It still has temporary animations that are going to be refined for the final characters, but it helped us making the new movement physics, which is one of the biggest features of this update that I'm going to show now. Starting simply, the character is in the idle state when he's not doing anything. Later on, there will be various idle breaks, like just looking to the sides out of boredom. Then, when we press the movement keys, obviously character starts to walk. When it's released, character stops, of course. There's four different stopping animations played depending on which of the legs in what position to minimize the foot sliding effect. When standing in place, if we start to go backwards, the character first turns in place and then starts walking. We can also run around in circles, and it still looks natural, because character turns in small arcs when moving. For dinosaur and dragon species, and maybe quadrupeds in the future, those arcs will be a bit bigger as their body is longer. And of course we can jump and even jump again in the air. For now, it's set to quattro jump for testing convenience. But in the actual game it is not a default ability, it's rather a special technology a player will be able to acquire for their character. Where jumping, there's always falling and landing animation. While in mid-air, character assumes different poses, depending on their velocity. And if character tries to land on a very steep slope, they will start sliding along the surface, there's like 16 different animations just for that. But since there will be flying characters, the ground ones have to have something to compete. We really want to emphasize the freedom of movement, and that's why it was such a natural thing to teach our characters how to climb anything. You probably can tell where the inspiration came from. And of course, since we are planning to make underwater exploration a big part of planes of existence as well, swimming and diving is also included into our movement system. There is a new water shader too, now it looks much more pretty and has waves. It's going to be very good for creating tropical seas, but it also can have colors customized and waves reduced to create rivers and lakes. The flying movement mode we haven't really done much of yet, and also there will be one more way you can traverse the surface of land and water, but I'll talk about that in the future updates. So now, let's move to the system that makes it possible to interact with the world and not only walk all over it. The action system unifies usage of items, skills, weapons and interacting with other objects. All we need to do is to write a simple script, for example, play a particle effect and push the character up, and then system takes care of everything else, makes it so it works in multiplayer, makes sure players have met all the requirements, like having enough stamina, and verifies it all on the server, so no one is cheating. It makes it really easy for us to create content and fill the world with stuff to do. Things like emotes, dialogues and interacting with other characters is all handled by actions too. I just used a little item that makes the character leap into the air. It's nothing spectacular, but it shows that the system works. Instead of jet jumping, there can be actions attached to usable items, weapons or skills that will be restoring health or energy, casting buffs on allies, setting up explosives, etc. When character enters the combat mode, it moves a bit differently, always facing the direction player is aiming at. Weapons use actions to actually shoot and consume energy or ammunition from the inventory. Weapon actions can add more interesting things, such as combos, wind-up delays and charge shots when player holds the mouse button longer. The actions that have delay in usage, such as melee swings, are replicated to the server and other players in a way to compensate for the network latency, meaning that the actual strike will be at the same time synchronized for all players within a reasonable ping difference. Also, inventory got changed a bit since the last build. It's prettier and more robust, has tooltips and actual icons. When items are dropped on the ground, they have a neat effect now, and on one of the test maps we put a few chests with a couple items to play with. In the future, the side panel will be expanded with more tabs of equipment, stats, knowledge tree, collections and recipes. As well as those colorful little things down at the bottom should have a meaning pretty soon. 
the stamina, energy and health systems have a minimal implementation now. They deplete and regenerate. Health doesn't do anything yet though, but we'll be working on that soon, finishing up the combat and adding elementals to shoot at and get shot by. With all those re-implementations, we of course had to remove a couple things. For the time being, the Derenixians will not appear in the builds, but instead of them, there will be Hizathri and maybe even Sergos in the upcoming versions. Models for them are finished already, they just need to be animated with a better quality work than this test guy has. He also doesn't have any customization obviously, because he's going to be removed next. Like the old test level that was removed as well. It was broken due to many engine updates, but there's no need to repair it. It was made for the initial 2D version anyway, with flat trees. For now, we will just stick with quickly made test levels until we make something better in the future. After all the things I mentioned are done, we can start introducing simulation, knowledge tree, start to actually making playable content, new graphical assets and finally sound design. But that is a story for another time. So yeah, that's it for now. The pre-alpha build is finally out, and you can try it out if you're supporting the project on Patreon. Of course, there are still some rough edges to be found, but we've refined so many of them already, I'm sure we can polish it up as time goes by. If you're not a patron, but maybe you like where the game is going, consider supporting the project. It makes it possible for this game to be developed at a constant rate. You can click the annotation or the link in the description down below. And of course, huge, huge thanks to all the awesome people supporting Planes of Existence on Patreon. You are the best and I love you all. Don't forget to join our Discord channel if you haven't yet. I always want to talk to you guys. And if you're a creative person, an artist or a programmer, and maybe you think you could help us make this game, we definitely could use your help. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more updates like this. I'm Celeros. Have fun exploring your realities.